Hello and welcome to the Absolute Beginner's Guide for Rhino. In this episode, we will be going over laser engravings on the laser cutter. So, something I didn't talk about in the last episode was what color we should use for what thing that we're doing. So in this example, I just used red just so it would pop out on the black drawing. But then, when we're doing anything on the vinyl cutter, it doesn't matter which of these colors we use. But then, when we're doing stuff on the laser cutter it actually matters so for the laser cutter red means like cutting so if i make a box here this box will be cut out but then if i use blue this box will be sketched or embedded and then we will also go over something called hatching and that is to like sketch in the black parts of the Darth Vader and that has to be in black so I'll go over all of this in a bit so what we want to do is we want to first put this inside of a box because if you want to cut all of these out we'll just have some random triangle some random eye patch stuff like that so we first have to put it in a box or a circle I want to do it in the box just because why not and then our box has to be red so it actually cuts on the laser cutter and then grab this guy and then center it out okay good enough and then I turn this guy blue because we want this to be lines we don't want this to be cuts so you turn this blue oh, why didn't that work oh I know so we go over here on blue and then we say change object later and then this guy turns blue so now what we want to do is we want to turn this laser cut into this so we want to have this part as like hatched or etched in so first we start with this guy so what we want to do is we want to change our color to black because the inside has to be black but the lines outside can be have to be blue so what we want to do is we want to turn points off points off okay so now what we want to do is we want to group this so we just say control G and then it's grouped. So whenever we click on any part of it, it selects the entire thing. So we can just drag it around and then control Z to bring it back to the original place. So we want to first etch this triangle or hatch this triangle. So oh, I have to undo that. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to go select the triangle and then in the command line type hatch. H A T C H hatch and then solid okay so then what happens is that now whenever we print something on the laser cutter it will be engraved and then okay what I want to do is I want to group all these outside lines just so they're all grouped and then we're not gonna have any problems when hatching okay and then I type in the command hatch type in hatch and we don't want the eyes so we also have to select the eyes and then hatch okay there we go so now it's hatching and then select this hatch and then this guy is hatched so let's group this group boom 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 let's see hatch and there you have it now we've hatched it so now what if we want to have this as a keychain because when we do a laser when we do a laser cut we don't want just a random box so we could put like a circle here near the edge in red so it cuts out a small circle so we have a circle for our keychain to go there. So, okay, this looks good now. And then we move our circle back in with the gumball command turned on. We need to put it as close to the circle as possible. 
And yeah, so then when we put this on here, this is a perfect replica. So if any of you guys want to make keychains or want to do this exact model, I'll also link this in the description and have fun hatching and engraving. And also like and subscribe for more basic tutorials like these. Bye!